Hi there, I'm Jim with Twisted Hobbies. This is my crack yak, and uh, you can see that I've taken some damage. I put it into the ground pretty good. Uh, the thing that I like the most about Twisted Hobbies planes is, and the EPP in general, is that you go out, you crash it a few times, you put some glue to it, and you're up and flying again in no time. If you were doing the same thing with the balsa model, uh, it you have a lot more damage, and it takes a lot longer to fix, and it's not just a, a simple a simple fix. It's always more complicated. So uh, we're going to be fixing this up, and I'm going to use foam tack. Foam tack is my favorite adhesive to use. Uh, first thing I want to make sure of, though, is that my tip here is extra extra clean because as we're trying to get it into here, uh, you don't want it to to hang up. So you'll see I hit this edge here and it hit the aileron. So I do have a pretty good crack going through here and then a crack here on the aileron as well to about here. So I'm just going to open it up a little bit, stuff this in there, give it a little bit of glue into that seam. And then I'm going to wipe it with my finger once I get this taken care of. I'm going to look at it from the other side, see if I can get a little bit more over here. And then I'm just going to go along this edge. I believe this is the second repair on this edge. I typically uh, crash my plane two to three times, and for every flight that I have, uh, I'm going to wipe this off. That way it's ready for the next time. So I crash every every flight because I'm really trying to do uh, complicated stuff that's pushing my boundaries and, and my abilities. Uh, if I want an easy flight with, with no worries, then I can do that too and not have to worry about crashing at all, but I'm always trying to push myself. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Um, maybe we check the other side real quick, see how it's looking. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any issues there at all. So the foam tack is great because it creates a, a nice flexible seam and this will be up and running in about 10 minutes and I'll be able to fly it again. Okay, here's a pretty typical thing. I brought the plane down a little hard on the tail section and this broke free. I also have another one over here. This one also came free. So let's take a look at how to fix these up. So I'm coming in with my foam tech and I just put a little bit on the area where it's going to get repaired. Just a little, doesn't have to be much. And then I'm going to flex this bracing, get it back into the hole, let it go, and then I give it a good smooth out on top of it, and then we're done. Let's take a look at the next one. Just going to bend it, insert it into there, and then smooth it out if needed. I don't think I need to smooth that one out at all. I think that one's all done. Okay, here's an area that has taken a bit of a hit. So I just put a little bit of foam tack into there. Okay, this is my cracked pits. I believe I have um, about 160 flights on this airframe, and she's still going strong. Uh, I did take it straight into the concrete, and it looks like I can 
see a little bit of daylight through there. So I'm going to just put some more foam tack into there and let it tack up. So again, I'm using my foam tack. Make sure it's nice and clean. Get it into the middle. Squeeze it. You can see where it's coming out. It's looking great. Clean it up with my finger. And then I'm done. Okay, so I've taken a couple hard landings on my little Fokker and I actually uh, took a nosedive pretty hard and I know that I have some, some broken foam. So I just wanted to show you how I first check to see uh, how it's doing and after a few flights I give this a little wiggle back and forth just to check and if we do the same thing over on this side you can probably already see that that's off and down here that's off a little bit. So those are the two parts that I need to get glued in, get, get those looking straight again. So I just go straight for my favorite adhesive. This is my foam tack and I just pull it apart a little bit, give it a little bit of a twist and get it going with a little glue into the joint there. Okay, so that one got done. Now we're gonna try it on the bottom. Let me just turn this whole thing over. And on the bottom, it looks like I can get it from this side pretty easily. And then you just kind of have to pull it apart just a little bit and follow it down as far as it goes. I got a little bit of time to, to get this set up, get rid of these stringy parts, and then I'm just going to align these, get them nice and straight where they need to go. I might have to put uh, a clamp on it or something to hold it in line since I got both of these, but it looks pretty good. Then I just wipe along the seam here so that pushes in. any excess that's coming out over there. And I'm gonna wipe along this seam as well on the top and bottom. And when you're gluing that, you just wanna make sure you have enough to, to fill that area. That's looking pretty good. 